I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Who? So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Cocos of Nesia, the astronomer. Prophet must have his followers. Kokos of Nicaea was one of the prophets first, branded a heretic in his home city. Kokos joined the pilgrimage north. His knowledge of the stars helped guide the way. It is said that Kokos and the prophet would sit for hours under the stars debating the nature of the universe and man's fraught place within it. For the prophet, he built an orrery of planets and stars so that even during the dark of winter, he might gaze upon the night sky. Thank you. 
can do for him now. All you... First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Just got word. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey! Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one. Hold up. Gonna check it. Keep close. Hold on. Something's up. Anything out by the fences? Nothing. But we didn't see the first ambush until they were already inside. They knew the layout of this place. Shit, this was supposed to be a routine op. <laughs> I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best-case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Hmm, an old Soviet plaque. Lenin lived. Lenin lives. Lenin will live forever.
shoot him. He'll talk or he'll bleed out. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes, but no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you... Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you need it back at the prison right away got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Oh God. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. All right, let's get it. Still shot. having trouble with the old fuel system. Don't raise any red flags okay, yet. We're working on it. Not seeing any more fuses up here. Just need some more leverage. Damn it. Cup is dripped. Give me a hand. Too much force. Take it easy. Oh, goddamn thing is rusted through. How's it looking? 
Soviet propaganda. Night won't prevent us from working. Someone's rosary. These beads have been worn away almost to nothing. <sighs> Not getting in that way without being seen. Must be another way. to destroy the old radio tower, but there are repeaters that keep them connected. We need to shut them down. Help me, and I'll let the others know they can trust you. We need all the allies we can get. I'll keep an eye out for them. Good. We don't have much time. Damien, the Prophet's Forge. Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams.
communication repeaters. Trinity must have installed these. Family photograph. Russian, late 1950s. Perhaps one of them was imprisoned here. <sighs> Something's written here. Remember. First, to light a star of progress. Huh. In praise of cosmonauts. intricate clockwork toy made of bits of scrap metal and other detritus or from the gulag hmm, must have taken a long time to gather the parts
Have you done it? The repeaters are offline. It's done. So it is. We don't have much to spare, but if you're fighting with us, you can use this. I've infiltrated the ranks of the enemy and learned that they come seeking the rich resources of the mountain. They appear to know nothing of the secret we protect. Those who build the Iron Road are themselves prisoners, slaves of the Red Army. Massive machines now use the Iron Road, bringing more slaves, food, and raw materials for construction of a small city. It is time for me to return to my people so we might plan our attack. If we can inflict heavy losses upon them before they reach the mountain, they may give up and turn back. that I should learn how to shoot. However, he tried to teach me today. I was utterly hopeless. I've always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. He laughed and said that he hoped I could find the right words to slow down a charging bison. I told him that's what he was for. Bless him for trying, though. I don't think there'll be any more lessons, Summer. Roth always said I must have gotten my sharp eyes and steady hands from Mum. That summer, he taught me to shoot instead. I took to it. Maybe too well. Trinities after the source. I should find out what they know. This was abandoned in a hurry. Did the Soviets find something down there? The Prophet was persecuted, and so were his followers.
there's water down below. Sounds like a great volume. A coin with an image of a city stamped in gold. And there's the prophet. This was likely an official coin of Katesh. icon cast in gold. The metal workers of the city started to develop their own style, but it's still similar to Byzantine craftwork. Hmm. That's got to be part of the works. eroding everything. At this rate, there won't be much left in a few decades. It's a system. on the wall. The levels change. My love, this letter is long overdue, but I have been hard at work. When you arrive, there will be a home for you here with all the comforts we have left behind. It is a huge task ahead of us, to design and supervise the construction necessary to provide fresh water to our people. But all my labor will be paid in full when I see you and our children's faces again. We will create a new world here the equal of everything you left behind to follow me. It will not have been in vain, as long as you and I are together.
Okay, should be able to swim through now. Should be more than enough oil to light the passages below, but be careful transporting it. We have not perfected the refining process and it is still volatile. You will know the man who supervises the construction. We all do. Without his knowledge of the earth, none of us would have survived along the difficult journey. Do not linger. And if he asks for word of his wife and child to feign ignorance, he cannot accept that they perished during our exodus and expects them to arrive any day. We need his genius, and I fear if he saw the truth, we might lose him entirely. gifts of the earth.
This writing seems to be pointing to something nearby. Old Soviet work camp. Trinity's taken it over completely. Soviet propaganda. Look, I'm on your side here. I've been working as a maintenance tech for Trinity out here, but I've got to get out of here. These people are insane. I've been stockpiling gear. It's yours, if you can pay for it. They won't notice a few missing items, but if they catch wind, or if they see me with you, I'm a dead man. I'll need some untraceable currency in case things go south. Gold, preferably. You think we can make a deal? I'll see what I can dig up. It's not nukes. Creepy looking guy with a scarred face named Constantine gave us a big speech, talked about destiny and something called the Source. And frankly, I'm even more baffled. The other contractors seem to be just as antsy and nervous as I am. But the company men, the guys who've been with Trinity for a long time, they're drinking it up and asking for seconds. It's fucking Jonestown out here. We're preparing for an assault. Against who, you might ask? I mean, there's people here, like natives, lost in time. We're talking furs, skins, and iron arrowheads. We're about to go meet them with attack choppers and 50 cal machine guns. I'm on the wrong goddamn side of history. Communications were offline, but everything is now under control. If the situation becomes untenable, we will step in. It won't. You sent me for a reason. I was chosen for this. I will succeed. See that you do. Hey! 